-hmm. So how many people do you think are in the system serving out sentences that really shouldn't, shouldn't be as long as they are? Is it thousands or hundreds yeah. or? My guess would probably be thousands if you look at the totality of our prison population. Um, you know, we had a, a very tough crime situation. People tend to forget in the late 80s and the early 90s when crack was really um, uh, spreading its, its terrible tentacles. Um, and we put in place some pretty draconian sentencing measures um, where people who were not engaged in the violent distribution uh, of drugs ended up with 10, 20, 30 um, lifetime sentences. And um, without a violent component to those, those crimes, it seems to me that some people are serving um, jail sentences that are far too long and don't serve any particular law enforcement purpose. So I think that um, we have made progress, but I think we do have to look back. And that's one of the reasons why we're supportive of the bills, one of the bills in Congress that would put in place a mechanism for people who are serving inordinately long um, uh, sentences, sentences that are not commensurate with their conduct. And that's one of the things I've tried to push out to the field, for, to tell our assistant U.S. attorneys, to look at the defendant who is in front of you and to decide what's justice in this case. Um, not to have some pronouncement from Washington that says you've got to have a five-year sentence, a 10-year sentence, a 15-year sentence. You, Mr. Prosecutor, you, Ms. Prosecutor, you look at that defendant and you decide um, what's justice. We're going to train you. We're going to give you guidelines. Um, we're going to give you all the tools that you need. But ultimately, I'm going to rely on these uh, great lawyers that I have working for me to uh, make the appropriate decisions so that we don't have uh, people in jail for um, inordinately long, um, inappropriately long sentences. I've sent directives to the field with regard to, for instance, the, uh, the filing of what are called enhancement papers. If somebody has a couple of things they've done in their past, you can file enhancement papers that really bump up the sentences that they're facing, perhaps even put in place mandatory minimum sentences. And so what I've said is that I don't want those things. Um, you shouldn't be filing enhancement papers simply because you can and end up with a sentence of 20 years or 30 years uh, where that's just not consistent with what the charge is against, uh, against the defendant.